In the Adirondack countryside on Whiteface Mountain in New York State is a setting as enchanting as any storybook land of fairy tales. This is the location of North Pole, New York, the home of Santa Claus and his workshop. My family has been going to Santa's workshop, the North Pole, since basically day one of the park, three generations. I love to watch the adults that were here as children now bringing back their children and grandchildren and just reliving it all through their eyes. For children especially, they're just a, a little window of time when you believe and everything is magic. And that's what Santa's workshop is. They go home and say, I know Santa Claus. I've been there. I've seen his reindeer. He's real. And even as you got older, you believed in Santa Claus a whole lot longer, having been at the North Pole Santa's workshop. Nobody in the world could have told me there wasn't a Santa Claus. That place has something to it that you really can't explain it unless you go there in person. You can't find it anyplace else in the world besides that place. I think it was a real uh, shock for the community when the very real possibility existed for the first time that the place may close and not reopen. You know, this whole area is, has a history of popular old theme parks closing up. Santa's Workshop was the first of its kind in the nation and it's the last of its kind in the Adirondacks. Our audience is shrinking. Kids used to believe longer 50 years ago. What might have worked for a 13-year-old back in 1952 now works for a five- or six-year-old. All of us who are here are here for the love of it. It's definitely not to get rich. The cost of our staff with benefits and the year-round staff is about 60% of our gross income. Any company should be closed at that rate. So it, it's tough. Santa's Workshop has never really wanted to grow. Because what do you do? How do you grow without putting a roller coaster in? What does a roller coaster have to do with uh, Christmas? Well, what does a water park have to do with Christmas? If Santa's workshop were to ever close, I'd feel like I'd lost a family member. They really give you the spirit of Christmas where you can't buy that. Santa's workshop itself links us to an important time in history. Because it hasn't changed, it links us to the past. It's still there. It's still magic. And I mean, it's a, it's a treasure that I, I want to try to keep here forever. Um, as long as I'm breathing, I'm going to try to keep it that way. We're in danger as a society and as a generation of not having to imagine anymore. And I don't think there's anything more magical than a four-year-old's imagination. <laughs>